Previously on What's with the butterfly? Oh! Na Nani Oh shit! Akatawa! No! No! So go by the Yundatara! After those words, I turn around and run from the church at full speed. God damn it, dude! Are you serious right now? Ah! Oh. God damn it, dude! Ah! Oh. Why are women so messed up? Shut up, Tadayoshi! What the fuck? Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, Rosary Chat. Seriously, I better make up for this. I, as in Tadayoshi. Goddamn. Ah. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Was I talking to you? Huh? Ah. Oh. Shut up, dude. Was I talking to you? Huh? Well, what? There's no voice for Jumpsuit Man anymore? What the fuck is this? Huh? Is it- Oh my god. What? Is it that- Ah. Uh. <laughs> Tadayoshi's so enraged that he can't even hear Jumpsuit Man. Wow. Goddamn. Anyway, you don't need woman in your life. Tadayoshi-kun, come to me. No way. Dude. Seriously. God. I've been sitting at the corner stall, complaining. And Rosa is not even remotely blameless. She gave me all sorts of hell just for skipping a little work. <sighs> Tadayoshi! Tadayoshi! Master, give me another round. What the f- Okay, where are you? Hey, hey. The master of the stall refills my mug. What the f- fuck are you drinking? You're 16! Well, back in the day I think age doesn't matter, but still! ああ。ね、この子酔っ払ってるの? <laughs> 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 Tadayoshi, what the fuck? Uh. So, so, Kaki ni nomase de sakinanza, it take him on esina. Where the fuck is Jumpsuit Man? Uh, you can't have my milk, boy, for free refills, if you know what I'm saying? I have no idea what you're talking about, but no thanks. <laughs> Goddamn. And I wanted alcohol, not water. Give me booze! Ha ha! It's too many years and a guy. Tuscany, Otokuni, and Nomanaka, Yatirane, Higa, Arusina. I don't think that's a good idea, Tadayoshi. Oi, Oyaji! Ore no Gori de Igarza. Kono Gaki, Saki, or Nomasi, Yatikunika? Ha? あんた何考えてんの？いくらなんでもそれはまずいって。あ、ガッダム。How did Jumpsuit Man sound like? Hold on. Who? That woman's right. If he does it, some big influence will remove him. いや、さっきからそこの筋肉だるまが言っていることも
一杯ぐらい飲んだところでなんてことねえよな坊主ああ、oh, You're so reasonable I agree One drink won't hurt anyone いやいや I bet you have low tolerance たぶんよしいやわったよじゃあ一杯だけだからなマスターありがとう The master pours some alcohol into an empty mug. The smell of alcohol stings my nose. This must be the real deal. What the hell are you drinking? It, it's, I don't think it's beer. Probably like. Uh, whiskey? I don't think it's vodka in Japan. Uh. Huh. Probably just normal sake, but it's kind of. A、uh, cheap one is cheap, so yeah. I wonder how it tastes. I grab the mug with great interest. And bring it close to my mouth. And. And! Ah! What the f. What are you doing here? Who? Is it Li Chan?、Uh, I dropped my mug, breaking it and spilling the content on the ground. Oh, Li Chan! You are f- too fucking young to drink, boy! Oh no! Is it you, Lin? It's your guy's fault too. Rosary keeps telling you not to give alcohol to kids. We do as she says, and we, got, and we get food from the church in return. Am I wrong? Then <laughs> gaze at everyone, and they all become quiet. I'm going to take him with me to give him some lessons. D- d- don't drag me like that, Lin! You rip my clothes! Scream! <laughs> Lin grabs me by the neck, then she starts dragging me. Oh shit!、Uh, don't argue with Rosary if it's gonna make you lose yourself in booze. God damn. H- how did you know that? I can read your mind, remember? All your thoughts are clear for me to see. Ugh. Yes, I remember her ability. I can't hide anything from Lin. There's no point trying to. Either. But I guess it's my mistake that I started to like him. Lin? What? What did you say? I, I mean, could, could you say that one more time? Nothing. But hey, do you actually understand why Rosary's so mad at you? Yeah, it's because I skipped work at church. <sighs> Tada Yoshi, goddamn. You know nothing. You're still a sheltered brat. You say that too? Lin sighs deeply. Have I done something else wrong? So, what are you gonna do? I have no idea. I think I can return to the church anytime soon. I don't, I mean, since I told her I'm leaving. It's too soon to return to the church. But it's too dangerous to sleep outside. I become familiar with some of the people in the slums, but not all of them. If I try to spend the night outside, I am sure I'll be robbed and killed. If you have nowhere to go, come sit at my place. I'll beat some character into you. Lin Chan, is that okay? I kind of had a feeling that Lin would give me somewhere to stay. If you sleep outside in the slums, you're gonna end up in big trouble. That jumpsuit man, you see him over there? Yeah, he's looking at your ass, so yeah. And you're too weak to mess with me. <laughs> Alright then. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. It means she trusts me. I know Lin's really strong. I can't risk pulling a prank on her. She's been beating me so badly in sparring. I think it would be funny to scribble on her forehead. Wait, Lin could have just read that thought. Better not to think like that. And glance at Lin's face. Attentively. Don't look at me. Damn. Is there something on my face? Phew. She,、uh, yeah, seems she didn't pick up on that one. Yeah. So I guess she doesn't just pick up random thoughts when she's not trying. So, Lin, please treat me kindly. Yeah. I'll beat you to get you stronger. So be prepared, boy. Oh, God. Lin Chan's house! Oh!
I think that's it for cleaning, so... And so I started living with Lin. It's like an apprentice living with her master, or their master, yeah. Well, I'll do the housework while I'm here, like cleaning and washing up. Lin does the cooking, though. But she doesn't actually serve me her home cooking. Instead, she buys us ready-made food. But I can't afford to be choosy. I realize more than ever how lucky I am to be able to eat on a daily basis here. Washing clothes is a difficult task. If I fill the wooden basket with water, then wash the clothes with a washboard. Not bad, if I say so myself. I feel a sense of accomplishment as I look at the shirt I was washed by hand. Next one. Huh? I pulled a thin black cloth from the pile of laundry. <gasps> Is it a thong? I unfold it to see that the clothes has a beautiful triangular shape. Wow, does Lin really wear stuff like this? We agreed that we each wash our own underwear, but Lin must have accidentally put some of her on my pile. I washed the children's underwear when I was still at the church. Rosary did her on her own. But it looks too small. I don't see how it could actually function as underwear. I've never seen baddies like this before. It's small and thin compared to the briefs I wear. I pondered what it must feel like to wear. Just <laughs> wait. Tadayoshi, no, brother, don't wear it, bro. Oh my god, are you really got? Oh. No, Obo-chan. Now, you what are you doing? That face. God damn. Anyway. What is it? It's a mistake. Do you see? Oh, Obo-chan has the ability to move the side of his head. あ、いや、違う。これは ついでだし、こいつも俺が洗ってやってもいいぜ。ついでかよ。ああ。なるほど。それがお坊ちゃんのこの世での最後のセリフとなるわけか。ああ。うい、レグラブスアンドウェアフロムマイヘッド、デッ
again. As long as you don't take a fatal hit, you can still win. It, it still hurts, even if I block her attack. God damn. But thanks to the training, I can not track Lin's movement better and my body can react to it. Whoa! Huh? I charge at Lin, okay? <laughs> Tonfa, Tonfa is at the ready. I try on upper with my left Tonfa. It's still easy to dodge. Your eyes are giving everything away. Whee! Lin easily dodged the attack, taking an oblique stance. Gotcha! I expected her to dodge that attack, so I spin my body to strike her with my right Tonfa. Oi! Phew, that was close. Well done. Thanks, but you easily blocked that one too. The second attack was blocked by her Tonfa. You still, uh, you still made me block your attack. That's something to be proud of, but... Got ya! As I started to fall off balance, she kicked me in stomach. It's hard to breathe. The hard hit in the stomach is making me lose my lunch. Got that, boy? This happens if you don't recover your balance as soon as you can after your attack is blocked. Uh, 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 I give up. Uh. Yet another defeat. Seems like I can, or I still can't catch up with Lin. Damn. He seems to be sleeping well. He won't be getting up anytime soon. Looks like he's tired out from today's trading. How bold sleeping with or how bold sleeping with such a relieved look on his face. This boy looks nothing like my brother, so why does this make me think of him? Nothing, I mean. The image of my departed younger brother's face overlaps with Tadayoshi's. His his peaceful sleeping reminds me of a long time ago. How many years has it been since that happened? After the war, my family broke up. I don't know if they are still alive or not. Now. Now it's not the time to be sentimental. I leave, being careful not to wake Tadayoshi. There's something I must do. What you hiding from me, Lin Chan? Don't leave me! Eh? <gasps> <laughs> I had a feeling you'd be here. Sorry for making you wait, Rosary. I got to I got to the church, standing on the hill on the outskirt of town. I've been visiting the church frequently ever since Tadayoshi came to live with me. Are you doing well with Tadayoshi-kun? It's alright. I don't know what she thinks, but it's patently obvious that Rosary wants to come to my place to see Tadayoshi. That said, why hasn't she actually come to see us yet? I report to Rosary how Tadayoshi and I are doing together like this. Earlier. Tadayoshi-kun? You're so fucking stupid! Yeah. He'll get what he deserves from making you cry. I'll spank his ass for that. Th Lin? Why are you here? I had a bad feeling about you, and it seems like I'm too late. I knew, he, I knew he visited me so often that he'd skip work at the church. I was worried that he and Rosary would butt heads at some point, and sure enough, they did. Uh, Lin, I. Hey, hey! Don't cry like that. People will think I'm bullying you. <laughs> What's with you, Rosary? Are you laughing and crying at the same time? Has that boy made you crazy? So sorry but you sounded exactly like Tadayoshi-kun just then, so... What? I sounded like him? That can't be happening. Did I really speak like Tadayoshi? I didn't intend to do that. Rosary must be taking it wrong. My place is the only... the place he could stay. Are you coming with me? 
As for that, Lin, will you take care of Tadayoshi-kun for a while, please? Huh? Is that boy a member of your... Or isn't that boy a member of your family? I know, but... I know he's trying hard. I want to support him to the end. Oh, Rosary-chan. Yeah, men usually find some way to keep their faith, you know what I'm saying? You really know a lot about him, don't you? Rosary smirks at me. She was crying a while ago, but she changed expression so quickly. I, uh, I had a young good brother, you know, so I could have just, I could just guess. And hey, Rosary, I used to argue with my brother uh, all the time, but we always ended up back together, you know? So, uh, don't worry about him. Thank you, Lin. Rosalie looked relieved. I don't know all the details, but I think he must have said something he sh really shouldn't have. I'll teach him a lesson for that. Your lesson sounds painful, I think. But Tadayoshi-kun is a boy. If he's alone with you... No problem about that either. Okay, I know. What's that supposed to be? I locked eyes with Rosary, and we nodded at the same time. Because he doesn't have the guts to do anything. <laughs> Son of a... That was our entire discussion before. I think it's my rightful duty, like Rosary and the boys say, to inform Rosary. Considering the look on your face, you seem to be doing well with Tadayoshi-kun. Oh, hey, on a more serious topic, take a look at this. Rosary had me a newspaper. What's this? Yes. I can't read those kanji. Rosary, read it for me. <laughs> hey. What? Didn't you come from China? What? Really? Oh, well, the naming is kind of, yeah, but all right then. Okay. Sweet. I still can't read them. Go on, read it for me. Then, you're acting even more similar to Tadayoshi-kun. Uh, at least Tadayoshi could read, girl. Has, or has his way of talking rubbed off on me for living with him. But that's not important for now. There, there have been several children kidnapped in Okayama and Hiroshima recently. So I've gotten word to keep an eye out for them. Oh, damn, that one? Or, that's new, actually. Yeah! Uh-huh, but where are Okayama and Hiroshima? Aren't you guys in Hiroshima? East from here. Okay, but hell. Who would risk their lives coming to a place in Japan as dangerous as this? I don't know, but it's happening not too far from here. So we'd better be careful. Peace came back when the war- or. Peace came back when the war ended, but now children are being kidnapped. What a troubled time. Got it. I'll be careful. And I think that's it for today. Wait, Lin. Don't tell Tadaishikun about that. Of course not. If he knows about that, I'm sure he'll go out looking for the people responsible for it. He's practically made of curiosity, so of course he'd try to get involved. Thank you, Lin. Take care of Tadashi-kun. He's under my training, so expect him to be tougher when I give him back to you. Yeah. I can't imagine him being tougher. I can't understand that. He's better than before, but still a sheltered boy. Rosarine and I share the laugh. But the more I think about those kidnapping cases, it doesn't make sense doing that in a dangerous place like this. But I still have to keep my eyes open for it. Who the fuck is kidnapping little kids? Jumpsuit man, is that you? Days later. Alright then. Lin, finish eating your breakfast. Come on. I pull on Lin's arm, motivated by a feeling of eagerness. My food's gotta get stuck in my throat if you pull up my arms like that, damn! Lin and I eat breakfast after we train earlier in the morning. But this morning, I can't spend too long on breakfast. 
I have finally found it. Lin, you're always earning money to put food in both our mouth or both our ma. Oh my god, mouths! Damn, I can't even. And I'm always grateful. Yeah, I really like to eat that food at my own pace, you know. But I finally found a way to earn money myself. Now I can prove or provide for you in return. Oh, this is good. Try some. Lin doesn't seem to be listening, but I have found it. I found a sign. Boy, you want me to guess what you're thinking? Yeah, guess, Lin. Read my mind or whatever. I want you to be excited too. Lin sighs at me, looking amazed. But I don't care. Yeah, I'll say it again. I have found it. What the hell did you found? I found a sign when I took a different path back to Lin's place during the day or today's jog. What sign? Dude, you're obviously showing your feeling on your face. And it's even easier to see it today. But one thing. You'll never catch a sandworm. Lin may have read my mind. But that doesn't matter. Sandworm? What? Yes. I found a sign about a sandworm. The sign had a price on it. The numbers were so high, even my old rich kid self wouldn't be shocked. Would have, I mean. I'd only ever read about sandworms in books, so I thought they didn't exist. But they are here in Japan. And right nearby. Did you see that massive reward? It's like they're telling us to catch one. <laughs> Who told you to catch it? Come on. They set the reward that high because they know it's almost impossible to find one. Huh. And what's this us business? There's no us in this. That's what I said. We will catch it. <laughs> Oh my god. No way, pal. Boy. No. So, let's go catch us a sandworm, Lin. Yeah! Damn it! Are you out of your goddamn mind? I'm serious, Lin! I'll use the reward to make your life better! Yeah! Hey, uh, do you know how big sandworms are? It doesn't matter if there's a reward for one. I never seen... Or, e or I never even heard of someone catching one before. What are you talking about? I asked around and all the folks were said they did catch one once. Uh, I guess he didn't realize that they were lying. He'll get himself scammed if he's not careful. Lin seems to be thinking over something. Is the sandworm that tough? Well, with that in mind, today's training will be sandworm hunting. If we leave here now, we'll arrive at noon. With what in mind? And quit dragging me out. I haven't finished my breakfast yet. Damn. Ugh. I drag Lynn forcefully out of her house. Home, I mean. Regardless of age, all men love an adventure. I'm getting so excited. Well, I doubt we'll actually find a sandworm, so let's just do it for a change of pace, I guess. God damn. And if we do go to the dune, I could show him that place. What place? What? Sandworm? What? Oh. Wow! They're selling lots of things I've never seen before! There's a town here. I always figured a dune was nothing but sand. Come on. Don't get so excited. You look... You look stupid. Damn. Chill out. And we're still in the tourist area. Far from the city. The dune is pretty much what you imagine. Tourist area. Japan's re restoring its peace, it seems. I don't know the details as I didn't witness the war with my own eyes. But given my crowd, crowded the sightseeing areas are, I imagine Japan is becoming a nicer place to visit. Give me your hand. Huh? Why? Lin is giving me her hand or her right hand. You'll get lost if I leave you hanging around, so I'll hold your hand to make sure you don't get lost. Oh, Lin-chan. 
Uh, okay. I hold her hands as she tells me to. I don't think I held a man's hand since my brother's. Honestly, why do... Honestly, why do men always get so excited about stuff like this? God damn. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. Damn. Come on. Let's go. Hey. How about eating something before we go out? I'm getting hungry. The delicious smell of food wafts out from several stalls along the street. Those smell makes my stomach growl. Hey. Don't make a sound like the- God damn. Sound like what? <sighs> Lynn seems to be- or Lynn seems to be hungry as well. Ah, yes. I remember I interrupted her breakfast. Yeah! Thanks to you, bruh! You know what they say? Soldier can't fight on the empty stomach. Let's grab some food! But where should we start? I glance at the stall. Everything they selling looks delicious. What do you like, Lin? Hey! Where are you? I realize that Lin is no longer holding my hand. But soon... I found her buying from a stall on the right. I want a bag of that and 10 steaks of that. Yes, yeah, salted. And 3 wheat rice. Hey! Is this boiled squid? Yeah, ten of those, and uh... Damn! She keeps ordering one thing after another, like she's casting a spell. Hey, Lin, are you alright to buy that much? I haven't ordered enough. Oh, don't worry about the money. I'm not worried about the money. The food here is a lot cheaper than the slums. They're practically giving it away. Okay. That's enough. Ben happily takes the paper bag, which is full of, full to bursting with food. Damn, Lin! How many did you buy? 